Hello, 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 and welcome to your character education. My name is Corey, and this is the place where you come to learn this month's big idea. A big idea, it's something that goes inside of you and changes the world around you. Words like patience and kindness. We learn all kinds of very important words, and our co-host Andrew sometimes helps us out around here, but we all know his sense of timing can be a little bit off. So why don't we just jump into this month's big idea? Why don't we see what word we're learning and what that definition is? Will you do a drum roll with me and say it in three, two, one, cooperation. Working together to do more than you could do alone. Ah, sorry. Sorry, I'm late, Corey. I just, uh, there, okay. Never mind. How are everybody doing? Everybody's amazing. It's just amazing. Okay, it's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, We're, it's amazing. We're awesome today. It's good. <laughs> you seem a little worked up. I'm not worked out. Mm -mm. Really? Yeah. You just maybe a smidge. I look worked up? Yeah. Remember when you just came in a second ago? You seemed a little worked up. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, I got a little issue. Um, it's really, it's really nothing. So, so moving on, you know, what's today's, what's today's big idea? Cooperation. I just said it. It's doing more together than you could do alone. Oh, I wasn't here, but that's great. Yeah. So, uh, so, so what's the issue? Well, it's this, this one, this big idea. It, it's just a tough one for me. <laughs> kind of thought all of them were a little hard. <laughs> so, oh, okay, true. <laughs> but this one is definitely not, it's not my favorite. Well, may I ask why this one? Well, to be as direct and straightforward as possible. Okay. I mean, I, I really don't need much help from <laughs> others, really, ever. So. Really? Yeah, I mean, I think cooperation is great, like, especially for you <laughs> and, and everyone else. But it's just, I mean, like, I'm, I am pretty awesome. Well, Andrew, I, I do have to say, I agree. I think you are pretty awesome. Thank you. But I do know that you might need some help from time to time. Um, yeah, like, uh, just think about this morning. Uh, okay. You came in, you're really bothered, something has you on edge, and maybe, okay. maybe you could use someone's help figuring out what's going on. No, I, I appreciate that, but, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't no, know. No, help. everybody, like, you need some help. They... I can help you. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, wait a second. I, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> you, I, I gave up years ago trying to figure out what Andrew's up to, so I don't know if we should just move on. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> all right, so I have this shirt. Yeah. You know, I got it. So, okay. are you ready? Uh, you want to? I want you to put this on. Okay. For cooperation. Yes. Okie dokie. All right. So, did like put your arm out for a second? Like, yep. All right. So, all right. One, two, three. Yeah. Look, it's it's me. Okay. Well, wait. Thanks. It's a <laughs> so, what am I helping out with? You mean me? Yeah, me. Okay, so I, you know, I thought that I'm awesome enough that I can do things by myself. So you or me. Okay. Now. So I help you out with the thing. That's right. Because you are me, it wouldn't be me asking for help since it's me asking me, then I can do it by myself. Okay, so you mean you and me. No, me and I. Okay. Well, what do you want me to do? Okay, <laughs> hold on just a second. Okay. So, really been struggling. I've been wanting some pickles. Mm -hmm. Really been struggling opening this. See, like... Ugh. I can't open it. Okay. But if I ask myself to open it... Then I can. No, no, I can. Yeah, that's what I said. No, you said you. Me. Yeah, got it. Yeah, me exactly. 
Okay. So, could you open it? <laughs> it wasn't hard at all, Andrew. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> See? Like, I told you that I can do things all by myself. That's a little bit ridiculous. Can we just move forward with this? You mean me? We. I. Yeah. Can the character education videos just please move forward? But I look so good in this Hawaiian shirt. I mean, it's... Okay. Just... I need to go change. Could you do something cooperation? Like, just figure it out. You'll be fine. Um. Oh, part of me just left. Um, I watch this video. Hello, everyone. It's me, your buddy, Sam. Now, I was wondering, does it ever feel easier to work alone? I mean, I know that can be true for me. Sometimes working with others can be a big pain. I mean, what if they don't like your ideas? What if they are different than you or even me? It can seem like it might be better to just go at it alone. Cooperation says something different though. It means that we are better together, not just even if we are different, but because we are different. It's like cooking. You take some oil, some cocoa, some eggs, some flour, and you mix it all together and you get brownies. And let me tell you, eating a brownie is a lot better than drinking a cup of oil or a tablespoon of flour. Alone, these very different ingredients would taste disgusting, but when they work together, delicious. Working together can be like that for you too. Instead of looking at others as too different from you, too new to the school, or too old, too young, too talkative, too shy, instead, think of what you all could be together. An amazing team. You know, I think right now is the best time to practice cooperation. So here's what I want you to do. All together, say it with me, let's cooperate. Cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. Come on, one more time. Cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. I'll see you soon. Any signatures on your castle? Hey. You need to get a whole row of them, it's called a castle. Hey? Right? Oh, hey there! <laughs> I'm MC Haggis, the world's greatest Scottish rapper. And this year's my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Give him a sample, Seamus. <laughs> Woo! He's available for parties, folks. Seriously. So, you might be wondering why me and Seamus are wearing these casts on our arms. Uh, ooh. It's a pretty interesting story, really. Uh, me and Seamus were climbing up this 1,000-foot cliff, and we started... Hey! All right, fine. It... It was a high five attempt gone horribly wrong, and we broke our arm. See, we were like, like, uh, okay, okay, I can't raise it above your neck. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so now Seamus is in a bit of a pickle, right, Seamus? Hey. Yeah. See, Seamus was supposed to perform at a concert to raise money for struggling sheep ranchers called Woolapalooza. Hey. Yeah, hey. but not by beatboxing. Uh, by playing this. Here, show him what you were playing. Not your cast. That. Yes. Yeah, see. There's the pickle! How could he play a guitar with a broken arm? Tell him, Seamus. <laughs> That's right! He can play it by ear! <laughs> but seriously, folks, he can't play it with one arm, and I can't take his place because I got a broken arm too! So we've decided to be an example of cooperation. Working together to do more than we can do alone! Let's show him! Come in, here we go. What are, what are you doing? You're trying to hug me? Okay, here we go. All right, nope, wrong way, wrong way. So, here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, much better, much better. Hey. All right, hey. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Hey. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> you strum, and I'll play the frets. Right. Hey. Here we go, hold on. All right, and go. We 
did it! Cooperation! You know what? I think we should rap about it. Kick it! When you have a friend who needs a hand or an arm to loan, jump right and begin. You can do more together than you can do alone, and that's cooperation! Warr! Yay! Play some more here. Huh? Play. Here they go, ready? Go. You know what? Let's play Calling in the Sheep. Ready? Here we go. Hey. Go. And then the cows join in. And then the turkeys. And then the porpoises. Hey everyone, my name is Tucker. I'm so glad to be here with you all today to talk about this month's big idea. And this month's big idea is a really good one. However, don't you think it's kind of weird that I'm here by myself when our word is cooperation? Um, you me, me too. I mean, I guess I can do this by myself, but I thought it'd be a lot better if I had some help. I really thought Anaya was going to hear. I don't, I don't know where she's at. Hey, Tucker! Oh my gosh, Anaya, like, why did you do that? Like, you scared me. Gosh. Sorry about that. I just thought I'd pop in and do this reach out with you. Yeah, you know what they say. Yes, Two are better than one. Uh, pop in here. Yep, I see what you did there. And you're, you're right. Two are better than one in so many different ways. I actually think three are even better. True. I'd rather have three people in a game of tug of war than just me pulling by myself. I've done that. It's not, it's, yes, by yourself, it's not good. Yes, um, it's actually, that's a good way that leads into our next thing that we want to talk about. Glad I could help. And before I give you all a challenge, let's go over the big idea again. Anaya, uh, will you help everyone repeat after me? Of course. All right, so cooperation. Cooperation. Is working together. Is working together. To do more than you can do alone. To do more than you can do alone. And that's right. Like I said, Anaya's already helped in the challenge, and she mentioned a situation in which she wanted and needed more people than just her help, uh, herself to help accomplish a goal. Anaya, do you remember what that was? Uh, tug of war? Yep, that's right. So there are so many things in life that are better with others. So here's our challenge to you. Wherever you are, whether in a classroom with your peers uh, and your teacher or by yourself at home, we challenge you to come up with as many scenarios, situations, sports, or anything else you can think of to where it's better to have others helping you accomplish a goal than you doing it by yourself. So we'll actually give you a one minute timer and let you think of that and think as many situations and scenarios that it would be better to do as a group together them by yourself. And at the end of one minute, we're going to pause the video, and if you need to discuss your answers, you can go ahead and do that. So are you ready? Go! I'm Lawson, and today I'm making a special unjarring video just for you. My favorite spicy dill pickles are now available in Cheeto flavor. You're about to witness the making of Snack Time History. Of Snack Time History. 
<laughs> In one second. <sighs> Hold that thought. Mommy! In the meantime, I've got an amazing story for you from this girl, Scarlett, who's friends with my little sister. Now, Scarlett's mom has this big work thing she has to go to all day, even though it's Saturday. She tells Scarlett and her brother and sister that she wants them to clean the whole house while I'm gone. And they're like, no! And mom says, I'm raising you to be responsible adults. And adds that when she gets home at five, they'll all go out for pizza and ice cream. And they're like, yes. And as soon as mom leaves, Ray takes charge of the list. And she says that while they clean, they're going to listen to musical theater. And Liam and Scarlett say, no way. Cause Liam wants to listen to bluegrass. Then Scarlett and Ray protest it because it makes their ears want to bleed. And then Scarlett tries to suggest disco. And Ray yells, stop. And says they're just gonna split up and each clean one area. Liam gets the bathrooms. Ray will take the kitchen. And Scarlett gets the family room. Scarlett doesn't even know where to start on her own. So she picks up a pack of cards. And she's like, hey, I could play solitaire. Cause she's got all day. Like all day. And a few hours later, Scarlett checks on Ray and Liam, and it looks like they can't get started either. So Scarlett checks the time and realizes <gasps> it's nearly four. So she calls an emergency family meeting. Scarlett says there's no way to finish before mom gets home unless we work together. And they shout, go team clean. And then they put on some disco, bluegrass, musical theater, and all pitch in together. And when mom gets home at five, the whole house is sparkling clean. And mom's so impressed that for dinner she orders ice cream pizza. So kids, always remember that pizza is the new dessert and that cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. Maybe pizza isn't the new dessert. Mommy! Hey, thanks. No problem. Woo! Chalk one up for cooperation. See you guys next time. Well, as we kick off our discussions on cooperation and how we can work together to do more than we can do alone, I think we need to start with the old one-man band misconception that all you need is one extremely talented person and you're rocking out arenas myth. It's true, and that does happen, but there are amazing individuals who tour all over the world and play for millions all by themselves. And this doesn't take away anything those artists can do because they are truly amazing. But what is more common when you think about a band is a group of musicians who get together and bring their individual talents to form something that they couldn't do alone. And why is that? I brought in someone who can help us understand this. Um, Hey, Sam, come uh, on in. What's up? Hello, hello, guys. How are you doing today? Yes, it's me, Sam. And yes, I am a scientist. Maybe I don't look like the most traditional one, but you know what? I still like to make things explode, and maybe we'll do that today. We'll see. But today's teaching segment is super exciting, and we do get to do some science with it, so I'm super excited to get that. So, have you ever heard the expression, if you want something done right, do it yourself? Because I know I have. Yeah, I've heard it once or twice. Yeah. Well, 
you, you know what? I, I don't really buy it. I think we work better together, and I've got an experiment that actually shows what happens when we work together, and how, when we all mix things together, things go better. So, I've got this wonderful experiment set up for you guys, and it's going to be super exciting. We've got beakers, and we've got all this random stuff, and it may just look like a bunch of random things, but the reality is we're going to turn this into a teamwork machine and show you guys what it means to be a team. So, JD, are you good helping me out? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, tell, tell us what to do. What do we got going okay. on here? So, inside of each of these flasks is different things. So, we have hydrogen peroxide. Uh, it's the same stuff that, like, you might put on if you, like, fall down or whatever. It's it's pretty it's pretty basic. And, and this one, uh, it's a little more potent than the other. But we have this, and then we just have normal dish soap, and this is, well, it's dish soap, and you wash dishes with it. Yeah, so, yeah. dish soap, hydrogen peroxide, and then you've got water, mm. right? We also got yeast and food coloring, and we're going to combine these ingredients and create an entire experiment that's going to work together and show you guys that working together really can have a much bigger impact than you imagine. So, JD, can you help me out? Can you be my mixer and move things around? I got you. Just tell okay. me what to do. So the first thing I need you to do is throw some of that soap into the peroxide mixture here. Okay. okay. So JD's going to mix this up. Put a good bit. Yep, yep. Do a good. Yep. A little bit. Yep. Oh, perfect, okay, perfect, perfect. Now perfect. go ahead and beaker that one around. You know how the scientists do it? Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she's got mm -hmm. that mixed mm -hmm. up. Now um, go ahead and add the yeast into the hot water. Okay. Now we're combining these ingredients, and as we do it, notice how it's just a little bit in each one. There's not a ton in either one of these two beakers. And sometimes that's how we feel. We feel like there isn't a lot that we can contribute, maybe just a little bit. You see, the yeast isn't really doing anything. It's changing the color of the water. But JD is going to mix that up, make sure it's all combined, and then we're going to add our last and final ingredient, some food coloring just to make that fun. So go ahead and put some drips around the side with both colors. Um, we're really excited about this one. This is going to be super great. Now, like I said, it doesn't look... Right here. This is what I'm doing? Yeah, it's perfect. Both like there is a ton going on here. But that's because each component is individual. So when we combine all of our stuff together, we can end up doing way more than what we think we're capable of because we can do more when we work together. So, JD, mm -hmm. we've got our two components here. We've got our container because... This is actually going to get pretty crazy. Uh -oh. So, JD, if you want to place them in here, place the big one right here. Okay. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and dump this in here. Just and we're going to see. Yes, this is okay. a great example of what it's like to work in a team. There's small components that don't seem like they're doing much, but when you mix them together, it's going to make a big impact. So go for it. Okay. Just, just go right all in. Right. Go for it. All right. Everything goes in. Whoa! And do you see that, guys? Oh. There was maybe this much in the beaker, but when we combined it together, it created a huge, massive explosion. You see, guys, uh, just like these four ingredients work together to create something pretty amazing, that's what we can do, too. The difference we can make in the world can go way farther than we can imagine alone. So... Let's give our assistant, JD, a hand. Thank you very much. Big round of applause for helping me out. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. This is so awesome. And thank you so much for coming and help teach on how we can work together. <laughs> Always happy to. Well, that's all I've got. And the next time you see yeast, remember, it's the party starter. We'll see you guys. Bye. It's been a while since I've written. Mom's been doing a great job. And I've been trying to help her out, just like I told Dad I would. But sometimes it seems like Mom and I have been in a holding pattern while we wait and wait and wait. We've been a good team, but still, I think we both knew that part of our team wasn't around. We've kind of been all on our own. When we found out when Dad would be back, I wanted to do something big. But it was just me, and I'm not really great at art, and I only had eight chalk pieces left. But then, Sandy came over, then the Kindrels, then other people started coming in. 
It was so much more than I could have done on my own. I think it would be a lot easier with Dad here to remind me that I'm never on my own. Love, Terrell. Well, uh, that's all the time we have for today. I hope everyone had a great time. I did. Uh, you know, Corey, I learned something. I, I actually do need people's help. Even when I think I can do something on my own, it, it's just better. It's better to have people around me to cooperate with and work together. I agree. Or me agree. Do uh, you? Yeah. Okay, good. Everybody needs some cooperation from time to time, so why don't we practice cooperation and say the big idea together one more time. Okay. I'll repeat it after you this time. Oh. Okay. All right, let's see if I can remember. Okay. Cooperation. Cooperation. Is working together. Is working together. To do more. To do more. Than you can do alone. Than you could do alone. I like it. Yeah, we work together to do that. And it, it was better because we did it together. I agree. Thank you for cooperating. It, it was great cooperating. Well, you know what? Together, we will see you all next time. Have a good week. See you. Everyone come together, working hand in hand. It's easy if we all carry the load. Look at all we can do to build a better world. You can trust in me and I can trust in you So put your hands together Together we can do anything, anything we all yeah. One voice, one heart, one love Whoa. city all together now yeah. we make a better story when we help each other out each other with out. peace and understanding you'll never walk alone oh, yeah. when you can trust in me and i can trust in you the time is here the time is now time to take a stand and make it count so put your hands